Hey guys, this is Scott Tripler again. Today I wanted to talk to you about something that I will not leave the house without. What am I talking about? Well, today I'm going to talk to you guys about a Pelican 1510. This case, uh, once it was recommended to me by another photographer, Brian Hess, this case has been invaluable. I will not go on a shoot without it. Reason why? One, it's waterproof. You never know when it's going to rain. When you're on location, you can close your gear. Whether it's a crazy reception and people are spilling drinks, that alone has some value to it to me. Um, there are a couple cool features I'd like to point out. As with all Pelican cases, it's got a double latch system. You can hear it. It clicks. It means business. Um, it's got an air pressure valve that allows it to pressurize correctly so you don't have any issues during travel. It's got two handle options, which I really kind of appreciated. I didn't think much of it when I purchased it. But having a handle on the top is nice when you're carrying other gear. kind of balances the weight. But if you're going to walk long distances, there's, it's got a handle on the side. So it, it kind of balances the weight out a little differently. It disperses it. So it gives you an option depending on how heavy it is and how long you're going to be walking. Something you really wouldn't think about, but it's nice that they provide you with that option. More importantly, this handle on the back telescopes out and it's got wheels on the bottom so it's one of the small size pelican rolling cases and again i love this thing absolutely best 175 dollars i ever spent ordered on bnh got here within a week uh, let me go ahead and open it up and show you what's inside and how i packed it so as you can see already i've got a divider padded divider set uh, i've got two bodies multiple lenses, speed lights, and some triggers. So let's go ahead and unpack it piece by piece just to see how I can uh, show you guys the best use of space. Already off the bat, starting on the left side, I've got two speed lights here. I've got my 7D with the grip attached. I uh, sneak in my X-Rite color checker passport. If you guys are familiar, we'll do a video on that one too. Uh, let's see, oh, that lens that was attached was the 512 that I talk about. This is the 24 to 70. It's a must have for anybody who does portraits, weddings, and so on. Here's my little 15 millimeter fisheye. Uh, complain about that lens hood, we'll get into that. Um, here's a, a push on diffuser for the 580EX. And right, and then moving in the corner, these are some of my favorites. These are the TT5 Pocket Wizards. I just keep them stacked to kind of protect the hot shoe. It makes them kind of portable and compact. Here's another body I've got with a grip. And moving into the last compartment, I've got a Tele. This is some older L glass. I can't get rid of this thing. I love it way too much. It's an 80 to 200, 2.8. Little clip. And then I have my backup speed light. Tucked away, I have an old classic 430EX. Um, you know, like I said, it's inexpensive backup and it does what it does. Does it very well. So that takes care of uh, how I've got the dividers. As you can see, I've got an extra little compartment made with one of the dividers. I slide in my little circular polarizer down here just to keep it at bay. Whenever I need it, it's got quick access and that keeps it all padded and safe. You can see I've kind of made a subdivider here with another piece that allows my lens to sit on top and allow my speed light to sit underneath it with a little bit of comfort that I'm not gonna destroy it. In the top, this is part of my workflow. I always keep things that I need to access on the top section. That way when I have an assistant, if anyone is not that knowledgeable about my setup and hasn't worked with me to where they know it hands down. I can just tell them top row. So top row memory cards. I have a wallet. This comes along with part of my system. I use the red to, to mark whether the card's been shot on if it's hot to denote that. I keep loose cards in there just as extras. USB drives. Uh, this other section here. You can see I've made a lot of use of this space. I have multiple chargers. That way, if I'm on site and I need to recharge, I've got two extra batteries, two chargers. Um, of course, what's in the grip already. Some minor accessories. These are some must-haves in your kit. Lens wipes, uh, some Velcro, a couple safe sinks, an AC slave, uh, lens blower, some extra AA batteries. And I always keep the battery door in case for some reason my grip were to die. I always keep that handy in the case as well but I try not to go into these on site because there's smaller pieces of equipment in it and I'd hate for something like that to fall out and be lost on the job site keep a lens cloth multiple tool this is like a Leatherman uh, I can't tell you how many times I've needed that a little lens uh, solution to clean your lenses with that's real handy 
especially if you do any beach shooting. Uh, it's really good to wipe your equipment down. In here, these are kind of considered backups. These are my battery trays for my grips. Uh, you can see they come with the Canon battery uh, grips. You can just throw double A's in there. Just another form of backup uh, in case something were to go wrong or uh, obviously I have a pen in there too. That's pretty much how I have my case organized and what I've got in it. And I'll go ahead and have a part two to the video which will show you basically what I take in my other Pelican case for a small job on location.